Just a quick video to show you a repair I'm doing. It's a Sunday afternoon. I've got several tons of aggregate on my driveway that needs moving and I can't move it because the brakes on my dump have stopped working. It's a really familiar old dumper and in fact classic car item, a Lockheed or Girling brake expander. This particular item is brand new from eBay. Um, it's been on the machine less than two weeks and has stopped working. You can see the thread in there where the adjuster goes. Has been ripped out. This looks like it's made of maybe licorice or perhaps chocolate. The dumper's done probably around 25 trips, so that's 50 brake applications, and it's let go and left me with no brakes, which is kind of suboptimal. And I don't fancy putting another eBay special on there that's probably going to last me another two weeks and then let me go. What can be done? Hmm. I think these are all going in the bin. Emerging stage right from the bin are the old items. They actually suffered the same fate. But, you know, these have been on the machine probably 40 years and the machine was stood for a long time and the aluminium body threaded, corroded and first time I tried to adjust them, ripped the thread out. So, I'm judging these ones kind of not so bad and these are the ones which deserve repair rather than the ones made of chocolate which were brand new. I don't have access to the correct heli coils for these and it's not something I'm sure I'd want to heli coil especially given that this 3 8 UNF thread is more than 10 thou that's more than a quarter of a mil down on diameter it's not really gonna gain much headway. It's a nice step on the end of this component that's essential because with that step not there when the adjuster thread strips the entire lot pops out leaving you with no brakes whatsoever rather than bad brakes. So we need to maintain that step. Got 364 thou there also known as 9.2 mil and looking at the trusty Zeus book ta -da, We've got 3 8 UNF in there at the moment, whose tapping drill is 8.5. Clearly it's torn out to the major diameter. But the next size up, 7 16 UNF, is a 9.9 .9 tapping size. We have 9.2, which means there's enough meat on there to tap out to 7 16 and we'll be good make a new one of these that's oversized and it might seem like we're out of a problem and I can at least get on with this um, Monday morning if not later today. Looking at the end of this there's quite a bit of play on there which is allowing extra wiggle factor on the thread that's probably hastening its demise So whilst we're at all the re-engineering and tapping, that was probably 5 8 when it left the factory, 625. This is half a mil down, which doesn't seem entirely helpful. I think when I make the new item of this, I'll make the head oversized too, having bored out this bore here, which is Again, you can't see on my rubbish camera, but trust there is one inside. And then everything will be a nice snug fit and hopefully not self-destruct. Back to the Zeus book and looking at my collection of tabs. And considering that these things are kind of prone to ripping their threads out, albeit two weeks is really taking the mick. I think I'm probably going to go for 7 16 BSF, which is a teensy bit coarser in this aluminium than the UNF. It'll probably cause somebody great confusion in many years to come. Um, clearly this choice is nothing at all to do with how many taps I have and what sizes I've got in BSF versus UNF. I've got the component set up on the milling machine. Clamping it on what is its mounting face. 
got a setup of something. I'm using this bore and I'm going at the top, which is the part that I hope is the least worn. And that's probably about as good as it's gonna get. Going for the tapping drill for 716's PSF, this probably won't take much out. And in with the 716's PSF tap. Time to skim that ball. One nicely cut thread and lovely clean internal diameter. the new oversize adjuster spindle 30 degree cone on the end I've done this out of EN 16 so reasonably strong and hard wearing all that remains now is to put the little flats on the end these are purely just a detent to stop it undoing itself as you drive along I could mill them on but for what it is, given that I've got a handy square on the end already to reference off, I'm just going to put them in the vise and file a flat on because they really are just a retaining detent and nothing else. Altogether, this feels good. I'm quite satisfied that these aren't going to come undone by themselves. I've increased some of the other dimensions on the screw. increased the length of the square and of course the thread diameter is looking a load more substantial. Let's see how it fits. All on, looking good. to me.